everybody, Wester Strader here, and I'm fixing to show you some baits and stuff that I use in the fall that will help you catch more bass in, in tough conditions. We're here in the fall of the year, we're in the south. This doesn't really apply to up north, any above, you know, say, you know, the states that, that the lakes are covered in ice for about four or five months out of the year. You want to keep your stuff, your bait smaller. You don't want to be throwing a big, you could be throwing a glide bait and you're just going to get big bites and that's it. But for the most part, we're going to try, we're going to, try to match, we call match the hatch. And like with the, this is a 3 8 ounce jackhammer. What you're trying to do is, like a lot of people want to put a big old, big giant trailer on this thing and make it bulky so they can cast it and all that. But that's the exact opposite you want to do this time of year. This is a swimming fluke junior on the back of this. I have four trailers that I basically throw on a, on a, on a chatterbait. Uh, I throw a Z-Crawl junior, a swimming fluke junior, uh, a 3.8 inch uh, Z swimmer and an uh, ultra vibe speed crawl. And you can make this bait do totally different things just by changing these trailers. So we're here at the fall, we know they're feeding on shad, so I'm, I'm gonna be using uh, a shad colored type trailer. But what happens is like with, uh, with this uh, swimming fluke junior, the closer you get your trailer to this hook, the, the end of it, this bait's gonna do real erratic stuff. It's gonna just it's gonna, it won't just run straight, it'll just jump, it'll, it'll come out of time, it'll come back into time. You want a bait that searches, you want it to hunt. And this time of year, it's really, really crucial because if you'll notice, you get around these little minnows, you'll see them just jump. You just get close to them, they jump. Well, that's from them being, you know, the fish feeding them. They're real spooky, they're real jumpy. And anytime you can get a bait to do that kind of action, it, it triggers bites. Uh, vice versa, they, I know we're in the fall, but I'll talk about this. If you put, say I put this Z swimmer on it, you see how much longer this Z swimmer is? Like when I put it on there, it's a little bit longer. It's got a lazier swim. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna create more drag and the bait's gonna kinda stay more. I'm not gonna say it won't run out of time a little bit, but it'll be more in line. It stays, it's got kind of a lazy wiggle. The same way if you switch it up, this is a, a, a Z Crawl Junior from Zoom and this is the Ultra Vibe Speed Crawl. These two baits get totally two different actions. Th this bait, the difference in the two baits is you can see this has got like a, it's got an edge on the on the leg, and what that does when the water hits, it helps to pull it apart. Whereas these, they just kind of stay in line and kick. They don't really flare out; they just stay in line and kick. These actually, they branch out like a, a crawfish in the defense position and paddle, and that's what kind of keeps that keeps the bait more in straight in line. It doesn't let it do all that erratic erratic moving. For more fishing tips, go to MajorLeagueFishing.com.